but now bring charges against Israel, your mother, for she is no longer my wife, and I am no longer her husband. Tell her to remove the prostitute's makeup from her face and the clothing that exposes her breasts. Otherwise, I will strip her as naked as she was on the day she was born. I will leave her to die of thirst, as in a dry and barren wilderness. And I will not love her children, for they were conceived in prostitution. Their mother is a shameless prostitute and became pregnant in a shameful way. She said, I'll run after other lovers and sell myself to them for food and water, for clothing of wool and linen, and for olive oil and drinks. And they want women to be modest in their appearance? They should wear decent and appropriate clothing and not draw attention to themselves by the way they fix their hair or by wearing gold or pearls or expensive clothes. For women who claim to be devoted to Elohim should make themselves attractive by the good things they do. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look with lust at a young woman. For lust is a shameful sin, a crime that should be punished. Don't lust for her beauty. Don't let her coy glances seduce you. For a prostitute will bring you to poverty, but sleeping with another man's wife will cost you your life. Can a man scoop a flame into his lap and not have his clothes catch on fire? Can he walk on hot coals and not blister his feet? So it is with a man who sleeps with another man's wife. He who embraces her will not go unpunished. Throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. So put to death this sinful, earthly things lurking within you. Have nothing to do with sexual immorality, impurity, lust, and evil desires. Don't be greedy. For a greedy person is an idolater, worshipping the things of this world. They were all adulterers, always aflame with lust. They are like an oven that is kept hot while the baker is kneading the dough. But I say, anyone who even looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Run from anything that stimulates youthful lusts. Instead, pursue righteous living, faithfulness, love, and peace. Enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Master with pure hearts. I have seen your adultery and lust, and your disgusting idol worship out in the fields and on the hills. What sorrow awaits you, Jerusalem? How long before you are pure? You have had enough in the past of the evil things that godless people enjoy, their immorality and lust, their feasting and drunkenness and wild parties, and their terrible worship of idols. So if your eye, even your good eye causes you to lust, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. But the man who commits adultery is an utter fool, for he destroys himself. For from the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, all sexual immorality, theft, lying, and slander. The kings of the world have committed adultery with her, and the people who belong to this world have been made drunk by the wine of her immorality. Then you will accept their daughters, who sacrifice to other gods, as wives for your sons and they will seduce your sons to commit adultery against me by worshipping other gods. For the land is full of adultery, and it lies under a curse. The land itself is in mourning, its wilderness pastures are dried up. For they all do evil and abuse what power they have. But why should I punish them for their prostitution and adultery? For your men are doing the same thing, sinning with whores and shrine prostitutes. O oh, foolish people! You refuse to understand? so you will be destroyed. They commit adultery with their eyes, and their desire for sin is never satisfied. They lure unstable people into sin, and they are well trained in greed. They live under Elohim's curse, 